Hi, I'm Arav. I'm from Michigan, and I got into Georgia Tech for computer science. Today, I'll be telling you all how I got in and giving you advice on how you can improve your application. Before we get started, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Okay, so um, in this video, we'll be covering a bit about me. We'll be covering my stats, my classes, my extracurriculars, and finally, my awards. So first off, about me. Um, I'm Indian American. I went to a mid-sized public school with a graduating class of 627, I think, people. Um, it was pretty competitive, actually very competitive. My school offers 20 APs and it offers um, extensive IB curriculum of which 50 people um, complete the IB diploma program. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about my stats. First, my GPA. I had a 4.0 unweighted GPA, and although my school does not weight my GPA, I would estimate that I would have around a 4.7 weighted GPA. My school does not rank students, but I would estimate that based on academics, I would be in the top 1% of students. Moving on to my test scores. I took the SAT three times, and I didn't take the ACT. Um, the first time I took the SAT was September of my junior year. I got a 1570. Um, 770 reading and 800 math. Then I took it in October of my junior year and I got the exact same score. 1570, 770 reading, 800 math. Those two were a week apart, so I didn't know my score. Um, I didn't know my September score before I took the October one, um, which is kind of funny. And then I took it in April of my junior year um, during the school offered SAT and I got a 1580, 790 reading and writing and 790 math. Yeah. And so my super score would be a 1590 with a 790 reading and writing, 800 math. Moving on to my AP exams, I took 16 throughout my four years of high school. In freshman year, I took one, AP US History, which I self-studied and got a four. Then sophomore year, I took the AP Calculus AB exam, which I got a five in. I took the AP Stats exam, which I got a four. I took AP Microeconomics, got a five, macroeconomics, got a five, and lastly, I took AP computer science principles, and I got a five. Junior year, I took AP calculus BC, I got a five in that, then I took AP world history, got a four, AP chemistry, got a five, um, AP computer science A, got a five, and I took AP language, and I got a five in that. Senior year, I took another five APs, I took AP Biology, which I got a 5 in. I took AP Physics C Mechanics, got a 5. AP Physics C Electricity and Magnetism, which I got a 5 in. Then I took AP Spanish, which I got a 3. And AP Literature, which I got a 4. Overall, those are my 16 AP classes and my scores. Now we're moving on to the third section, my classes. Pardon me if I'm looking down, I have my transcript in front of me, and there's a lot of classes. So. We'll start with the classes I took in middle school that appear on my high school transcript. In seventh grade, I took Honors Algebra 1, and I got an A plus in that class. I also tested out of Honors Algebra 2, um, and I got an A in that. And I took Honors Geometry in eighth grade. I got an A in that. Then I tested out of Business Technology 1, and I got an A in that. I also completed Spanish 1 in middle school, and I got an A in that class as well. Moving on to freshman year, I took Honors Pre-Calc. I got an A in that. I took Honors English 9, got an A. Then I took Biology. I got an A in that. I took US History. I got an A in that. I took Spanish 2, and I got an A. Then I took four classes each one semester long. So first semester of my freshman year, I took Marketing Entrepreneurship. I got an A and I took Advanced Programming with C++, I got an A. Second semester freshman year, I took Visual Basics, I got an A in that, and I took Website Development and Design, I got an A in that class. Moving on to sophomore year, I took AP Calculus AB, I got an A plus in that class. I also took AP Stats, I got an A. I took Honors English 10, I got an A. Then I took Honors Chemistry, I got an A in that class. I also took AP Economics. I got an A in that. I took AP Computer Science Principles, in which I got an A. And lastly, I took Spanish 3. 
in which I got an A. Moving on to my junior year, I took AP Calc BC, in which I got an A+. I took AP Language, which I got an A. I took AP Chemistry, in which I got an A. I took Honors Physics, which I got an A plus in. I took AP World History, in which I got an A. I took IB Spanish, and I got an A plus in that. And last but not least, I took AP Computer Science A, and I got an A in that class. Moving on to my senior year, last year. I took AP Literature, in which I got an A. I took AP Physics, in which I got A pluses. I took AP Biology, in which I got an A. I took IB Spanish Year 2, and I got an A in that. I took AP Spanish, and I got an A. And then I took four classes, each one semester long, um, as dual enrollment with a local community college. Um, first semester, I took Linear Algebra, and I got an A. And I took Calculus 3. I got an A in that. Then second semester, I took Differential Equations. I got an A. And last but not least, I took a class in C++, and I got an A in that. And that will be a wrap on all the classes I took during high school. Moving on to the fourth section, I will be talking about my extracurricular activities. Um, so the Common App allows you to put 10 extracurricular activities, and I used all 10 of those spaces, as I recommend you do. For me, the first one was about Science Olympiad. Science Olympiad is basically a science competition with 20 or so events that students from around the nation compete in. In this, or in the Common App, I discussed how I got a leadership role and I was a part of the varsity team my freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. My second extracurricular activity was the Artificial Intelligence Club. I was the president of said club and I was a part of the Artificial Intelligence Club for four years and I was president my senior year. As president, I helped design and create programs, machine learning programs, to detect bias in social media, and I helped teach the members of the club about how to use artificial intelligence and make programs. And my third extracurricular was the Cricket Club. I was founder and co-president of the club. Um, our purpose was to play and promote the sport cricket, which is really popular in India, and hence the, ac the extracurricular activity was cultural for me. I created this club during my sophomore year, so I was a part of the club my sophomore, junior, and senior year. My fourth extracurricular was YJA, which stands for Young Janes of America. I had a leadership position as a local representative, one of 20 across the Midwest. The organization promotes uh, my heritage and my religion, um, Jainism. And as a local representative, I helped plan and host retreats, webinars, and fun activities for Jains across the Midwest. Then my fifth extracurricular was the tabla. The tabla is an Indian instrument. I've been playing it since first grade, so I thought it was pretty important to list on the Common App. Then my sixth extracurricular was Connect Me. I was the social media director for the entire organization, and I was a part of the media committee. So I mentioned that and how Connect Me was created during the pandemic to help teeter underprivileged um, students through Zoom. Then as a part of the school club, I mentioned that I was the school director of outreach. My seventh extracurricular activity was Rotary. I was a member of the Rotary Club for four years. My eighth extracurricular is related to Science Olympiad, but instead I was a coach for a local middle school. I mentioned how I coached um, for two years, my junior and senior year, and how the students that I coached placed at the state tournament. My ninth extracurricular was varsity tennis. I had been playing tennis since middle school but I was a part of the JV team my junior year and the varsity team my senior year. My final extracurricular activity was National Honor Society. I was a member of National Honor Society my junior and senior year. That concludes all the activities that I put on my Common App. There were a couple others, but I had to make choices and I had to choose which one to put on the Common App, as I'm sure many of you will have to do eventually. The fifth section of my application was the awards. The Common App allows you to put up to five awards and honors, and so I filled out all five. The first one for me was Science Olympiad. I placed nationally third and eighth in two of my events. My second award 
was with the AI Club. I placed in the local Steam Fair. I placed first place for most creative design. And that was about an AI that detected bias in social media tweets. My third award was National Merit Semifinalist. Um, at the time, I was a semifinalist, but later I got confirmed to a finalist. My fourth award was the President's Volunteer Service Award, Bronze Level. You earn the Bronze Level if you have over 100 volunteering hours with an organization. I had well over 100 with Connect Me, so I earned that award. My fifth and final award was the AP Scholar with Distinction Award, which I got for having exemplary scores on my AP exams. That is all for my awards. If I had one piece of advice to give to you guys, especially you comp sci majors, I would say make sure you spend time doing computer science. Have at least one extracurricular activity on your Common App, be related to computer science, and spend time learning and learning computer science because that's what really matters. No matter what college you get into, where you end up going, those skills transcend just the common application process. And that, those are the skills that will get you jobs and that will get you higher wages. As a reminder, make sure you like the video, you subscribe, and you turn on those notifications. Thank you guys so much for listening. That is all for me today. Peace out.